Audio Jungle. I wake up at 5.45 in the morning and already the campus is buzzing with conversation, ideas and energy. I still can't believe I get to study on this gorgeous 27-acre campus with students from over 12 different countries. The teachers here are very caring and the classes have no more than 25 students, so I get a lot of personal attention in terms of academics. We also have a wide array of extracurricular options. I'm part of the school choir, the football team, and I'm in the MUN club. And this year, I have achieved top scores in my IGCSE examinations. I want to be a sports psychologist, and this school has allowed me to dream big. Indus is one school with a million things to explore, and I'm glad I've still got two more years to try them all. We believe at Indus that the purpose of education has to be preparation for life. Apart from academic excellence and apart from whole education, it is very important for next generation leaders to have entrepreneurial mind. An entrepreneurial mind is not strictly in a business sense. It is about initiative. It's about risk taking, innovation. It's about embracing failure, celebrating failure and finding big opportunities in big problems. At IISH, our unique leadership curriculum helps develop cognitive and non-cognitive capabilities and competencies. Our aim here at Indus Hyderabad is to help children give birth to themselves so that they become true leaders, people who will work ceaselessly for their self-development as well as work cohesively for the development of society and the world in general. The Indus Trust India's most inspiring success story of K-12 education was founded in 2001 by Silicon Valley-based entrepreneur Kumar Malavali, educationist Shivram Malavali, industrialist H.B. Jairaj, and real estate leader Sushil Mantri. Today, under the leadership of founder Chief Executive Officer, Lieutenant General Arjun Ray, the Trust has established three top-ranked international schools and eight preschools in Bengal, Pune, Hyderabad, and Chennai. The Trust is committed to developing future leaders of industry, science, technology, and society. Indus International School Hyderabad, founded in 2008, is spread over a 23-acre campus on the outskirts of the city. Hyderabad, rated as one of the best cities to live in, has many architecturally beautiful monuments, such as the Charmina, and Hussein Sagar Lake, and is a center of technology and innovation. Indus Hyderabad is a state-of-the-art day-come boarding school, offering its students the International Baccalaureate Program on a fully Wi-Fi enabled campus. The campus is furnished with separate residences for boys and girls, a 250-seat dining hall, performing arts center, and a plethora of co-curricular clubs and sports activities. Indus Hyderabad is ranked amongst the top 10 international day come boarding schools in India in the Education World India School Rankings. The Indus Junior Schools in Jubilee Hills and Gachibowli are the city's most preferred preschools, hosting 450 children aged between two and 10 years. The Indus motto is in nomine apparatus, prepared for all challenges. We encourage peer learning, inquiry-based learning, and self-directed learning to strengthen conceptual understanding among our students. I'm not here to memorize formulas, nor am I here to learn by repetition. I want to learn an interdisciplinary method, and this school teaches me 
in many different ways to solve the problems I face in everyday life. I feel that when we teach, we enable young minds to think, think rationally and critically. And we encourage them to seek knowledge rather than thrusting knowledge upon them. ESL stands for English as a Second Language, otherwise known as English as a Foreign Language. I mainly teach the Thai and Korean students that arrive here and a lot of our students that come to us will come to us with little or no language and eventually they move out into mainstream and that is when I know I'm being successful when they move into mainstream. India's education is defined by rigorous, intense inquiry, developing the mind to learn across disciplines like academics, entrepreneurship, service, music, arts and sports. This is what makes the school distinctive. I came to Indus in grade 11. I knew I wanted to come to an international school. I am the editor of the Indus magazine and I have also played for basketball South Zone tournament. Academics have always been important to me. I knew that I want to study IB and the teachers here are excellent. Indus is an amazing place that has let me explore everything and the place where I learned I could become anything. An economist, a politician or even a professional basketball player. One of the many areas we do well is in sports. We have good infrastructure and we have specialized coaches for each major sport. Contrary to the views that leaders are not made but born, we at Indus believe that leadership can be taught. Indus is one of the very few schools where leadership is taught as a subject with theoretical and practical components. At Indus, we believe in servant leadership, which is serving the community to make a positive difference in the lives of people. So we've been coming to Conical Primary School since we were in sixth grade. We'd interact with, with these students and we'd um, teach them basic English and math. But through our interaction, we realized that they had a lot of potential. When we saw their classrooms were in not a good shape, so we decided that we'd uh, raise funds to help them rebuild their school. At Indus, leadership curriculum, both in classroom and outbound, plays a special significance in creating leaders of tomorrow. Indus School of Leadership is the only institution in India that has collaboration with Project Adventure USA. The school also conducts programs for students to experience peak experiences for example, mountaineering, scuba diving, whitewater rafting, and paragliding. The Indus School of Leadership is in the gorgeous Yelagiri Mountains of Tamil Nadu. We go there every summer for six days of leadership training. It's a great experience residing in the tented accommodation, receiving leadership training lectures, and the physically challenging discovery course, which pushed me beyond my comfort zone. I like to do arts, maths, music and sports. I like coming to school because it is fun. I like my teachers because they teach me new things. I've been associated with uh, Indus since uh, the day it started. I'm very extremely happy with the teachers because I think they played an important role in my daughter's education, her upbringing. For the education sector to be effective, we need good teachers. In fact, Itari was set up with exactly this in mind. A teacher's role is not merely to teach the students how to repeat, but to unlock their potential to think. At Itari, we teachers are equipped with the best pedagogical practices so as to be the change agents in the life of students and communities worldwide. Every day when I wake up in my room, I still can't believe I am at Indus and in India. The boarding house is home away from home, and I have so many friends which they from Thailand, Africa, and India. 
We live together and eating together and we participate or event together. And my house parents and teachers are like family and they really good care of us. Art is not just a supporting program in Indus. There's more. In this studio, in fact, the students learn the true meaning of art for art's sake. Indus is a place that has a 30-member orchestra, Indian and Western classical musicians, support from the renowned Shankar Mahadevan Music Academy and Trinity College of Music London. The breadth of options for the development in arts here is phenomenal. The newly created state of Telangana has significant uh, and complex development challenges. I believe that ISH and its students have a great role to play in this in terms of churning out students who will be part of this development, not just for the state but for the country. At Indus, we hope that with the right type of leadership development that is happening for teachers and leadership training for the children, that we shall be able to unlock their potential.